Pamela Craig joins us now, and she's written a novel called Reaching for a Star. I love the title of um, this book, and there's some great messages in it. Pamela, what drove you to writing this book? How how'd you come up with this novel? It was just something that I was sitting on for a while. I kept thinking about, daydreaming about, and decided I should probably just start writing it down. And once I did, it was fun, funny because it just started flowing and came out. And so it was obviously fun for you to write this. Yes. And it, when you wrote it and you started telling the story, the characters were obviously important. How'd you come up with the characters? Um, I had the first, the main characters in mind, and then the other ones just kind of trickled in. And I had one character that just kept coming back. So she became like my comic relief. So tell us about, tell us about your story. Tell people what the story is about and some of the characters, their names and stuff. It's it's about it's kind of like a love triangle between God and two people and God is reaching for the star is the star in I, my novel is the man who lives on the, the West Coast and doing a lot of movies. And he meets this girl who lived in Florida and she's from the East Coast, of course, and they finally meet when one's on vacation. And as the more as they get to know each other, their attitudes toward each other change and he starts to wonder what's going on here and he starts looking for God. And she, you know, between her and her friends, they helped draw him closer to God. And was it hard to do that? Um, that was pretty easy because I, I actually grew up in the church, so I knew God all along. But there was a time in my life when I, when I was actually searching and looking and people seemed to know something I didn't know. And it's just a way of, of trying to, to tell people that there is something more than just knowing about God. Yeah. The What do you hope people take away from reading your book, Reaching for a Star? That God is powerful and everything that happens in God's time and he is real and he is in our lives. He's and, just waiting for us. And writing this book, does it make you want to write more? Um, sometimes I have ideas, but I, I really haven't had a lot of time to sit down and work through them. Yeah. Do you have a favorite character? Because you know, we fall in love with our characters and you said it, you know, there, there's a sense of humor running through this, which I think is so valid and so important. Do you have a favorite character and what are they like? Um, I think Heather actually became more of my favorite character. She's the one that kept coming back and she, she's kind of nasty, but she's kind of changed too, but she doesn't understand why. And sometimes I think it might be good to kick the next book for her, but I haven't gotten there yet. Ah, so there's a lot of different roads you could probably take with this. Did you ever think you would write a novel? No, <laughs> I didn't. And so it has to be exciting that you did do this. It is. And it would be nice. Yeah, I'm just going to want more people to be able to read it and maybe be changed by it, or at least and, they're good. And we get what the change is about, but... What, what do you think draws them in? Give us one element of the story. Like, tell us something that specifically that happens in the book. We won't give it all away, but tell us something that happens in the book. Maybe to Heather. Um, Heather decides that she's still interested in Greg, who's the main, main character, but he's not interested in her. And that's when she starts really questioning things, but she keeps showing up. She keeps coming back for more. <laughs> wow. She keeps coming back for more. Um, and so she keeps coming back for more and she's resilient, right? Would you call her resilient? Yes. So would, that's yeah. good. So that's, a, so that's obviously a, a strong character. What, does, what do people that you know say about your book? I mean, did you share your book with other people? I assume you did. I have. They've all said they enjoyed it and they couldn't believe that I actually wrote a book. <laughs> How fun is that? You know, so many people and people listening to us right now know that you'll hear someone say, oh, I have a story or I should have written this book or, you know, gosh, I have an idea, but they never do it. So you're one of that small percentage of people that actually followed through and, and did it and came up with a story. And I asked you this in the beginning, but when you were coming up with a story and you were writing it and you were saying it just came to you, did you have a process? Was it like in the morning, this is really powerful. I can write a couple of chapters or I'm getting inspired later in the day. Did you have a specific process for it? I tried to do some writing every day. And, and like I said, it just started coming to me. And then I would work out the characters, go back, reread and add some more. 
but yeah, it was more like was right an everyday process. Yeah. I mean, ultimately what, what do you hope happens with this? That, that people will read it and maybe it'll touch somebody's life somewhere and uh, that they'll ultimately the impact. I love that. And so to get reaching for a star, they can go on Amazon, right? Yes. It can also go to Bookvine Press. All right, Bookvine Press or Reaching for a Star. You can get it easily on Amazon as well. Pamela Craig, continued success with this book, and I can't wait to see what you do with the future. I'm thinking Heather is in my head now. So, so thanks for planting that. So we'll see what happens. Thank you. All right, thank you.